We have been through many highs and lows. But I can't imagine going through life with anyone else but you. Hi guys, welcome back to a Wacos Review, the only Nigerian YouTuber that is part of one of the biggest, the bestest, the baddest crew ever, the Avengers. So if you want to join the Avengers, why do I say it like that? All you need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I post. Like this video, do that right now, and please show your friend this video so the friend can join the Avengers. Yes! Yes! Okay, roll intro. Skinny Girl in Transit episode 3 was an episode that everyone wanted but regretted after watching it. But before we can get to the main reason why we are here, <laughs> we need to go through some characters that we love. A character that every girl I know always say they are, and that is Didi. If you know the amount of ladies that will say Didi is their spirit animal because of how jovial she is, but when it comes to the amount of body counts that Didi has, that, that's when those girls. <laughs> <laughs> they now chill and go like, I'm not that extreme. <laughs> I just like her personality. Most women are very stubborn these days, you know. They want to take the space of men in the society. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Didi went on a date with the same guy that stalked her on the radio and who is apparently a big person in the radio space. I know people had a lot of hate for this guy, but I see no wrong in this guy. I feel she should be with him for the rest of her life. She found him boring at first and tried to lighten up the mood with a joke that was very funny. Catchphrase, you go, okay. Nah, the walk, what would they do? Nah, the walk, what would they do? Nah, what? Walk, what would they do? Nah, the walk, what? what? He did not like the joke, he found it very boring. And I feel he's the best thing she needs right now. Listen guys, she has always dated guys that allowed her be her. And guess what? She did not stay with them. So this guy right here that has nothing in common with her is the right guy for her. Osi started her fashion school but before that she gave normal school a try. She did not like it and that's fine. I don't know why she did not do the same with makeup. You tried it, you found out it was not for you. You stop. Just stop. Please, get, get some help. help. But Wosi is not Wosi without drama. She starts her fashion school in the best possible way by fighting a veteran in the game of fashion designing. <laughs> That's like the worst title ever. And in this episode, what they just do is just tackle each other. This lady here is the textbook smart girl in class that we all hate. She sits in front, she copies notes, she's always obedient. See, I hated people like that in school. And normally, I would actually not say this, but Wosi is like me, always at the back of the class, always distracted, just always useless. And the fun part about Wosi is that she doesn't just want to be on serious alone, she wants to drag as many people as she can drag. And is that not the best thing about failure? Why fail alone when the whole class can fail with you? Anyone that went to the same school with me, Bukola, and I watching this video, you can testify that this is all I did. I wanted everyone to fail with me. But Wosi did not stop there. She went ahead to burn an expensive material. And guys, you can't blame Wosi. In a day, Wosi was able to single-handedly make us believe that maybe, just maybe, people are meant to stay in the village. Shanoa did a lot in this episode and not so much. I don't know if that makes sense, but I will explain. She starts off trying to know what Mide was planning to do for Tiwa's birthday and trust that the best human in the world was planning to take her to Paris. Y yes! Yes! What did you expect from this guy? Every time he opens his mouth, I always hiss inside. Well, first of all, I am not planning on cancelling anything, alright? And secondly, the trip is for my wife and I. A score into my armpits. <laughs> Only a few people will understand that joke. But Shalewa is planning a party for Tiwa and she needs Mide's wallet to achieve this thing. And, and you know now, the alien dropped his wallet. Yes, alien. How can I help and all that? Um, money. <laughs> 
All right. No problem. I want to bet Mide is the type of person that will give you his ATM card to buy whatever and then he will call you and be like, I don't think you're spending enough of my money. I want you to bankrupt my company. It's fine. It's fine. Tiwa started doing what she knows best and that is talking to us, the viewers, mid-conversation. She would just be having a conversation with someone and next thing, boom. Whatever the person is saying after that is completely useless. But I really don't understand why Tiwa had to take literal jokes, an obvious joke, and turn it into a speech of marriage shaming. Mide Macaulay the second. <laughs> Guys, please, first of all, yo, let's stop with this marriage shaming. I beg is a joke. J O K. He. The reason Tiwa is extra cranky is because of her marriage. All her hormones are flying everywhere and the only way to let it go is by fighting. And her husband that was made by the Greek gods is not capable of making any mistake. So she has to take all her anger on her friends because her husband can't do his job and cheat. <laughs> She started her ABC hosting gig that she really likes and at first I did not understand why she wanted to do this but just seeing her interview a guest as they talk about marriage and fertility, I now see why this show with ABC is very important to her. So let's skip this part. <laughs> skip! Oh, oh, they are kissing now. Skip! They finally surprised Tiwa with a wonderful birthday party. Guys, this party had everything. It had food, it had drinks, it even came with enemies. They also had this crossover kind of Avengers kind of thing where the cast of Physis were in this episode. Remember Physis? I like that show, guys. <laughs> What's wrong with him? They added a new person to the company, which is Mo, to fill in the space that Chris left in her. <laughs> I, I can't make that joke. I can't make that joke. But the down part of this wonderful birthday party was the fact that Tiwa lost the child. And I won't lie, I know this is obviously a show, but when she stood up and she sat down because she felt something, I really felt that. Like, I was like, no, damn. No, I can't react to the thing. My acting is dry. But I was like, no, god damn, man. God damn. Damn it! <laughs> the episode was good. My expectations are this is where we see the perfect guy, which is Midi, crack. And the test of his love for Tiwa is now questioned. It'll be fun to see what happens in the upcoming episodes. Drop expectations down below. Let's talk. And don't be like him. Smile at least. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the fact that you guys took out of your day to comment down below. And if you've not commented, why have you not commented, guys? I know I post every Mondays now, then I disappear to your next week Monday. But I don't even know. Like, it takes time to make my videos. I'm tired of complaining about how long it takes to make my videos. But it takes time. And I'm glad you guys like it in the end. I have a question for the day and my question for the, this time I actually wrote down this one. I, I wrote down this one. So this is not like freestyle. The question of the day is, what was your first ever phone? For me, I remember my dad bought this phone for uh, my sister. It was like a China phone. Oh my goodness, it looked like it looked like Nokia Express music, but it wasn't. It was like the biggest heist we've ever seen in our life. We took it to the village and like, it was th that period where like families used to like go to the village every time, every December. So we took it to the village and I don't think the, the phone came back with us. It was that bad. So tell me your first ever phone and how did it spoil? 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 <laughs> oh no, man. Thank you guys for watching. I, I don't know what to add here. I, I don't know. Maybe I could sing for you. Should I sing? I want to bet some people are like, no, no, please don't sing, don't sing. Lonely Nights and no, that song is copyrighted. Let me sing some original. No, I'm not going to sing. Thank you guys for watching. I'm I'm babbling, babbling, babbling. I'm babbling. Eh? I'm blabbering, blabbering. That is the word now. I'm blab blab blab. Oh, freaking hell! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, guys. I've said this thing like 20 times. We'll catch ourselves on the next one. 
Stay hot, stay cooking. Bye.